need is my wine and a chest bro, I can't get to First time using an espresso machine. I might sound like a primate, but I'm really happy that I have achieved using this. Okay, there's a skateboarder here, so I'm gonna try film them. See if I can get some footage. Alright, I just filmed the skateboarder. He just literally landed it right behind us as we left. Now we're in a street that looks kind of like New York and I kind of like the vibe of it. So we're going to go have a little bit of a walk here. Standing in the middle of the road. It reminds me of New York. <laughs> you can see we're in some street here in Normandy ruin. And it is an absolute ghost town here by an antique store. Just look how beautiful that stuff is. Can we decorate our house like this? Uh, decorate our house like this? Yeah. These it's just a bit and Yeah, it is a complete ghost town here. And it's just amazing to see a place that would usually be so full of life just gone. <laughs> I say that as a guy comes aloud, around with his loud ass life. <laughs> Okay, behind me, I've got a surprise. Boom! That's a colossal, huge church. That's probably the biggest church I've seen besides Mon Ma. Actually, it might be big. I, went, I hope you guys can see how big this is. It's huge. Guys, Selena is absolutely in love. She loves antique stuff. She loves being an old lady. This is her and her element. Look at these antique stores. One, I'm gonna run with you. One, oh. two, we're running. Three, four. And there's more everywhere. There's so many antique stores here and she is absolutely loving it. I absolutely love these behind me, but you have to be tripping if you think I'm paying 200 euros for some plastic people in a jar. That's beautiful, but 200 euros? Oh man. There's a lot of ducks with shoes here. It's a New York duck. It's a Tim Timberland duck. Hello. <laughs> it's really hard to fit in here. I'm hibernating. Hey guys, so I've moved into my new place. As you can see around me, it is a little bit cluttered, but it is an absolute beautiful location. Let me just show you exactly what I mean. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of uh, you know things in my way, but. I have an amazing view of the city, people walking around and then yeah, full 360 view around me guys. Yeah, so I bought this, I promise I bought it, it's all mine, yeah. We're here in the busy streets of uh, Ronin and I found myself a chair. So I think I'll be sitting here and staying here for the night. Quite inviting this city and I feel very, very safe. It's a lot, you know, quieter than Bowie. And I have lovely views all around me. I just showed you guys my apartment and I was just like, look, look at this view I have, damn. All I need is my wine and a chess board right here. Imagine being in the US or being in any other country and being like, oh yo, I'm just gonna pull up to the park and this is your view. Bye. This is unfair. It's unfair how beautiful and nice this is. Look at this, they have stuff you can take. So I'm assuming if you're less fortunate, you can come and get clothes, warm clothes. I haven't actually, I haven't actually seen one homeless person so far in Ronin. I'm not saying they don't exist. I just haven't seen it personally, but damn, they take good care of each other. I mean, mentally, my mental health would be peak. If I could come play some ping pong, and then go to church right after and then go play ball over there it's just a uh, very very beautiful oh by the way you always need to you know feed your brain so if i need to feed my brain boom oh, what the f how do you open it 
<laughs> you know, you need to free feed your brain, so you come here and, you know, somehow open this, some, here you go. And boom, grab any book you want. So you're physically happy, mentally happy, and spiritually happy, baby. Whenever I film scenes with kids in them, I get really uncomfortable. Not because I'm a pedophile or anything, but I don't know, it's just someone else's kid. And it just feels very foreign to film them, even if it's completely innocent. That probably makes me sound very strange, but yeah. Now you know the inside. Okay, I've spotted a guy. I'm gonna ask him to play the three. I don't speak French. He looks a lot better than me. We're gonna try anyway. <laughs> He beat me. <laughs> he beat me. He's a lot better. After getting my ass kicked, it's time to go home, eat some food, and get some rest. And ponder on my loss. Anyway, love you guys. Bye bye.